Hey guys, Lance here. So, I just wanted to talk about real quick, uh, DAP. If you don't know what DAP is, then, well, this might not be the video for you. But if you do, you understand uh, decentralized applications and probably understand Ethereum. Uh, that said, you may also be familiar with MetaMask and Mint and a bunch of other um, compatible uh, crypto wallets that are meant for different types of tokens, not just your Bitcoin, Dogecoin, etc., but um, tokens that can run off of uh, the Ethereum EVM. And so main nets as well. So if we hit our little MetaMask guy right here, you have something like this. See, you have your different types of networks, test networks, things you might be setting up locally. Who knows what? You have your main net, right? But in this case, we're gonna go with our test network here. Type in our test password here. And as you see, we have three ETH, right? So that's on this network. And you can see the activity, how you received and whatnot. But we won't go into how MetaMask works currently. But because this site doesn't use Web3, you see it's not connected and not touching our wallet. But if you need that type of video, that'll come later. But right now, the whole idea of why I probably got you is how to make your own um, token using the Ethereum network which you could deploy to the main net. It'll cost you gas. Um, and if you're not sure what gas means, then this may sound very weird to you. And somebody's got some gastrointestinal problems. But that said, there's this really cool site called Dapp Builder. And I know the uh, subject in this video is how to create your own token in a matter of minutes. And that's true. But I just really wanted to quickly show you about the smart contract behind it, right? So if you go to their GitHub, you have these contracts, right? And so the one we're gonna essentially be going over is um, the custom token, which is this right here. So these have different aspects of how the token itself is created, how you transfer, approve things, um, and also define uh, your token, which as you see here, name, symbol, decimals, which is usually gonna be 18. But um, you also have your ICO, which is basically your sale and everything else that comes with uh, uh, releasing your token, which is exciting about it. So that's what this contract itself does, right? Where you can start the uh, funding block, end the block, the token fund, the exchange rate, the creation cap, and how many, uh, the minimum uh, creation for it. Um, and that's it. So this handles pretty much everything to get your basic ICO up and going and uh, start your new token, essentially. And here is where everything is. Now, it's important to see the contracts. You may not understand it, but it's good that you have the ability to look at the contracts that you're essentially using. So, how do we make this really quickly? We go to datbuilder.io. And I've already logged into my account, but as you see here, they have a bunch of templates ready to go for you like a multi-signature wallet, which would be great to have that contract in addition to your um, ICO so that multiple people have the ability to access that wallet that you're gonna have. So it could have multiple signatures, essentially. So like we talked about, here's the custom token or the ICO token. So here's just allows you to customize your ERC token, but this allows you to uh, customize your ERC20 token uh, based off of an ICO. Um, and if you don't know what any of that means, then this is probably not for you. But let's just start, just so you can see what this would actually look like. So let's just call it uh, Tech Me uh, Show Token, okay? And for this, we'll do TMT, right? And the amount of decimals, 18. And that's going to be important to not mess with so that eventually if you do put this on, let's see, the um, Ropsten network, you could have it on Covan or Wrinkleby, uh, etc. Or even on your own local one using Ganache potentially. Um, eventually, keeping it on 18, you could put it onto the Ethereum mainnet eventually. And that is important. So now your token fund deposit. So we currently generated a quick account here with MetaMask just to play with so we could show you. 
And then here you can have the initial supply amount of token, the deposit, we're going to use the same thing. Um, and then the exchange rate, put whatever you want there. I'm going to just put five here. Creation cap, let's say, yeah, minimum, let's just say 10. Starting funding block, let's start at 150. Oops. And ending funding block, that would be fine, right? So here, we've literally now generated our own ICO, right? We've created our ERC20 token contract with our ICO perimeters. And basically, all we need to do now is create our ICO token. And by doing that, now, of course, it's not going to work right now for me. Um, I don't have it uh, hooked up right now to uh, my MetaMask. But essentially, um, you will be able to deploy this uh, contract um, on uh, MetaMask uh, or whatever wallet you have. Um, and uh, you're ready to go, essentially. So again, if you're curious about the contracts itself, and there's other contracts here that might be useful to you, there you go, like the multi-sig or voting. You could even have a lottery system. But the cool thing about Dapp Builder allows you to go and create your own um, decentralized applications out of nowhere. You know, it's awesome. Escrow, right? If you need to do something in escrow. A voting app, which might be useful for the future elections, right? A betting app, right? For doing sports or other events, if whatever you wanted to do. And here's another thing you might have heard of, airdrop, right? And that's based off of the Merkle tree. And a lot of these things might sound crazy. You don't know about them. And that's fine. And that's okay. And we'll eventually go over it. But I just wanted you to see how you could go create your own token right now in a matter of minutes, less than a minute, as you saw, um, and have your own ICO ready to go. Now, of course, you'll need to create a page for the token process for purchasing. But the point is, you'll get your all the tokens to your account, um, and uh, you'll be basically ready to go from there. And then um, disperse your token depending on what kind of ICO uh, you're trying to basically do here. Um, if you're going to have a utility token or you know mineable, well, who knows what you're going to try and do or what your purposes are. But as you see. Very quick with the dapbuilder.io to do something like that. So that's all that th this video is to show you that you can create your own token um, or your own ICO um, very quickly. So other videos to come if you're interested or have something that you want to see that um, maybe others haven't talked about, let me know. I'm happy to make a video and we'll talk about it. Have a good day, guys. Or night. <laughs>